Hey guys, it's Kuji Rolls here in Sanya, the Hawaii of China. This is gonna be a comprehensive review of this wheel. It's been about two months since King Song sent me the prototype of the S18, and now I have the production model. Now, I'd like to thank my sponsors, E Wheels and Speedy Feet, for sponsoring this video. Now, let's take a quick look at this bad boy. I'm gonna jump on this thing for you. Now when you're setting the suspension, make sure that you're aware of this blue rubber band. You never want it to go within one centimeter of the end or else you might bottom out. I suggest playing with the pressures and the settings to see what you like. Right now it's on the open mode. It goes up and down, but if you switch it, it becomes very hard. Also to the side, you can see it, there's a red disc. If I rotate that all the way to the other side, this controls the response speed. See how this flow comes back up? And the way I like this thing is about five clicks over. Four. I can't wear this jacket. I don't want to go outside, it's so dang hot. But this is, this is for the review. All right, this looks like a nice shaded place where I can do this testing. So let's test out the acceleration of this thing. Oh. We're impressive. Kuji pads, I can get my ankle bumps underneath them, so I can really pick up the wheel and apply a lot more pressure onto the pedals. It still provides a lot of torque. Well, I'd say that it feels very similar to the 16X. Feels good. It's very snappy. I'm gonna try to scrape the pedals. I fall on the ground if I can't, and I'm really, oh. Oh. How much do I need to tilt it? Oh, it shuts off before it actually hits the pedals. That's amazing. Oh. I'm not sure whether this place is closed because it's just too damn hot or whether it's because of the virus. Nobody here. I love it. All right, let's see if I can find any other challenges around here. That is hard, but well, you can do sand. Yeah. Here you go. Uh, 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 uh. I've not been kicked out of here yet. Surprising. All right, let's talk about amenities. The trolley handle is hidden and very clean. You can barely notice it. It's kind of annoying that it doesn't stay balanced until you bring it back down and when you take it all the way to the top. It's a good height and it's comfortable to use.
confidence level going downstairs has never been higher. And it's really smooth. Over these cobblestones, it just like kind of smooths it all out. It feels almost like a smooth road. Very responsive suspension. The pedals are more tilted and they're skinnier than the V11, so it's much, much, much more difficult to scrape the pedal. I need to find a better place so I can test this out for you guys. All right, I'm about to hit these speed bumps with a straight leg. I just did that without having to change the suspension pressure at all. So the thing is, I can do speed bumps to those one meter drops without having to change any of my settings, which is amazing. I wish all my wheels had suspension like this. This is no con to having a suspension like this. Oh god, I'm just riding around in just a t-shirt and it's so hot. If you want to only an 1100 watt hour battery, it still has a lot of punch to it. And it is a solid off-roader. All right, I gotta go back and rinse this thing off. That water was not clean.
a city with really bumpy roads, I can't think of a better, more safe wheel to be riding around. The suspension really is awesome. It has a wide range of what you can ride on. So whether that's small bumps getting eaten up on the road to like one meter drops, it can do that all without having to change your settings. Just hopping up and down, I just, I just enjoy this. I don't know, it's just fun. I can't think of anything about the suspension that I don't like. I really wish all my wheels could have suspension like this. So the biggest danger when you're riding around is not a cutout or things like that. It is your own damn fault when you're not paying attention and something unexpected happens. I could probably hit a speed bump with straight legs not anticipating it and not fall. And I don't know if I could do that with any other wheel. In terms of like nimbleness and acceleration and torque, it feels very similar to the 16X. I did work with King Song on the padding and that allows you to get your ankle bumps right underneath the padding, which allows you to really accelerate and access that torque much easier. You need to be able to adjust the pedal height to get that, those padding at the exact right height. So depending on how high your ankle bumps are and what kind of shoes you're wearing is going to ultimately determine how high you need to raise or lower that, those pedals. I've already dropped my pedals down one centimeter. I've been pushing them really hard to allow for adjustable pedals because I think it's really important to be able to put those pads at the right height. But one thing is for certain, you're gonna be able to not scrape your pedals. And one of the things about this wheel that I, I absolutely love, it's a lot easier to jump. The S18 is probably gonna be the easiest wheel where you can learn how to jump because you can preload it and then jump with it like a shitty heavy pogo stick. Rule of thumb, you get about half the miles, this says it has a max range of 60 miles, but honestly, I'm getting like closer to 30. The convenience factor of the S18 is not quite as high as the other King Song wheels, but it is still fairly convenient. I don't talk about aesthetics of wheels almost ever, but the S18 is the sexiest wheel I've ever ridden. So at the end of the day, the S18 is undeniably sexy. The suspension is awesome. The torque and handling are pretty solid. Everything about this wheel is just really nice to ride around in. I think this is going to be a very popular wheel. By the time this video is pumped out, I'll be back home and there should be a veteran waiting for me. I'd like to thank my sponsors once again, eWheels and Speed EP. Thank you for sponsoring this video. If you are looking at the other wheel with suspension, I'll leave my review for the V11 over there. And as soon as it's done, I'll leave a comparison review between the S18 and the V11 up there. Ready? Oh! I'll be careful. Just make me want to go outside. <laughs>